Allen welcomed 14 American men. Their will tested with each decision they make. There are no winners. There are no challenges as they struggle to survive on the show. Here's more on the island hosted by Bear Grylls with the man himself. I want to make my family proud. Stranded on an island in the Pacific. Just the clothes on their backs, some tools, and some training from survivalist Bear Grylls, who gets to just sit back and watch. You can't do it for them. You know, I gave these guys basic training, and then there are no rules on the island. That's the thing. You know, they've got to make their own decisions, and they might get mega sick if they do it wrong. Grab the medical pack. No camera crew, no challenges, no eliminations. And they don't need it. They are already being eliminated by this island. They're dropping like flies. Oh my God. They have literally zero contact with anyone for a month. They're dropped on this island. And the journey is, you know, who crumbles, who begins to thrive. And we begin to see really the heart of what modern day men are made of. Have we lost that edge? Have we become too dependent on this? Or have we still got that, you know, that streak of steel? We are straight up in this together. The Island, all new on NBC. Crazy the show. Three men are out, and we have 11 still on the island so far. So excited to be joined by one of those guys on the island, Dr. Buck Parker, a trauma surgeon from Orlando. No doubt a valuable asset, uh, asset on the island. He joins me more with his experience. I'm so excited to meet you. I'm obsessed with the show. We're three <laughs> shows in. Yeah. That water is so nasty that you guys are drinking. It's a little different than the normal tap water that comes out of the sink. So Dude, it's, it's like it's like brown. It's like that color <laughs> of that pillow little, behind you. It's a little brown. We call the tea. We, we, we like, you know, try to make some fun of it on the island and call it just, it's our tea. It's our daytime tea. Let me ask you a second, a, yeah. a question, dude. What, why, why did you do this? Because I'm an idiot. Who does this, right? I mean, you, you have no food, no water, clothes on your back, and then you, you're on reality TV. Everyone looks like an, a moron on reality TV, so only <laughs> fools. Like, like we said, we all had, oh, the 14 of us had uh, lots of things in common. One, the most... <laughs> the number one thing we had in common, we're all fools for going on the show. Do no. you, I, I mean, but going out there, do you feel like you accomplished? Of course, I don't want you to tell me if yeah. you make it or not, because as we said, there's 14 guys. That's how we started. I want to say after six days, already three guys have been dropped off. Two of them, yeah. you know, e the third guy, evac, and I love it. That yeah. was when you really flexed your trauma surgeon muscles. You're calling, we need an evac, and <laughs> please bring some morphine. We had Dad and he were like, fell and Ooh, broke you got the butt. morphine down, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah that, that, that week we got down. And look, there you are. You picked up a fish with your bare hand. Everybody else is trying to spear fish um, and yeah, not doing a good hands. job at it. And you just picked up a, a fish with your hand? Yeah. Well, it, I, I kind of got lucky. It, it fell out of the sky. <laughs> literally. <laughs> like literally a bird was uh, flying along and the bird was too small and it was carrying a fish and it was going to do a nosedive and the bird dropped the uh, fish in the water and so I ran out and got the fish. Okay, so you were the hero of the I day. Mean, yeah. What was the nastiest thing you had to eat on the island? Uh, I did eat a termite, which is kind of gross. They taste like wood, but I, you would think you would know that, but I didn't know that until, until now. Uh, so we eat some other stuff later in the episodes, which I'll let you see, but we did all, eat a lot of the limpets. I don't know if you saw those. Yep. Those were kind of nasty. And I mean, it, it, did it, it was taste like, like a filet mignon though? Did it, it, it taste it tasted, amazing? It tasted uh, not like a filet mignon at all. So um, they were more like a, a dirty booger. Can I say that? Yeah, you can. Oh. That's kind of, we have moms that, that watch the show. Good. We get it. No, yeah. but, but you're so hungry. I mean, at this point. You're so hungry, you don't care. And what was interesting is um, we, even though we would have like one or two of these sometimes a day, and they're about seven to 10 calories each, which is nothing. And you might think, well, why don't you just pass up the dirty booger every day? Um, there's something about eating, sitting down and around a, you know, kind of a dinner table, sitting out with other guys and, and having a meal. So we tried to do those things. To, to get like some normalcy back. Um, and th that was a, an interesting thing about survival in general. Uh, kind of Bear mentioned that, but we didn't realize how important it was until you start uh, you know, getting out there and, and you see, boy, I really need to do something to seem like I, I'm, I'm you know, in a normal situation, which you're not. Right, yeah, and Bear yeah. continuously says that it's all about your mind and your heart absolutely. over the physicality of yeah. it, and you agree? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the, the longer you're there, the more you realize how important it is. I mean, it's easier said than done, there's no question about that, but, but uh, once, you know, you get out here and we're about eight days, 10 days, and you're starting to really feel it, and uh, 
But if you can just yeah. keep that positive mindset, it's a big difference. Well, we're going to watch you from okay. the comfort of our couch. <laughs> See if you make it to the end. Of. Thank awesome. you so much yeah. for being here. Hey, the island hosted by Bear Grylls. It's so good. It comes your way Mondays at 10 after two hours of nonstop action on American Ninja Warrior. I have to say it like that. Hey, a programming note tonight is game six of the Stanley Cup finals here on NBC. The island and Ninja Warrior will be back next week right here on Monday, of course, tonight. Make sure you join us for the news at 11. Doc, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, good luck you. with those nasty boogies. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up.